guys, so welcome to another vlog. The most famous reindeer of all. Just. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose. I wanted to vlog because I haven't vlogged in ages. Well, I say that. I keep starting vlogs and I keep not finishing them and then I keep starting new vlogs and I'm like, oh, I'm actually going to finish this one and then I don't. So if you're seeing this vlog, it's basically a miracle at this point because I keep forgetting to post my vlogs. This week I have a lot of assignments to do. Mostly one assignment that is due on Friday and I didn't even realise I haven't even started it. So that's fun. And then I'm going to be doing businessy stuff this week. I've got to do a food shop tomorrow. I've got house fumings this week. It's all happening really. So I thought this would be a really good week to vlog. And yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much in the intro because we're gonna be here all week. I just been at my boyfriend's house for the weekend. I got back so late last night, like literally half 11. And although I slept quite well, I slept through the night. I don't know, I was just kind of tired this morning. I just struggled to wake up a bit. So I had a bit of a slow morning. Then I hopped in the shower and then I just did my hair and makeup. I just had my lunch, which was ravioli and spinach, which was nice. It wasn't like super yummy, but it was like healthy, so. I've planned my day out. I'm currently a bit behind schedule, but it's fine. Oh, also ignore my fingers. I know they're really red. I have eczema on my fingers. I'm going to pick up a prescription for it today, actually. Um, but yeah, in case you were like, sorry, but it is what it is. <laughs> I've got some parcels to package and then I'm going to take them to the post shop, hop to the chemist to pick up my prescription and then also go to the shop to get some essentials, so. Woo, on with packaging parcels. Okay, I don't look the best right now. But I'm just gonna pop out. I've got my parcels in my little bath spa tote bag. Um, I've got my mask on, which matches my leggings. Oh my gosh. If you want to know where you can get this mask from, shoptotalsvlogging.com. It's, is it there? Oh no, it's not. That's, it's, okay, you can't see it. It's shoptotalsvlogging.com. Okay, let's go post these parcels, go to the chemist and go to the shop. Oh my gosh, look. Look at my hair. Let's go small. Ignore the washing machine, sorry. The lighting is so bad in the kitchen, so we're new to this room. I got 72p sushi. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this because I've wanted to try it for so long. But I'm going like, to just try to buy it yet. But you can choose. It's the plant chef cuisine. So it's basically like cuisine duck, but it's vegan. I got some hummus. Hummus is one of the things I was going to get in my food shop tomorrow, actually. So I thought, oh, I'll pick it up whilst it's on offer. Ice, ice, ice. I got some ice. Orange juice, granulated sugar for my teas and coffee because we've run out. Oh, and now I got my prescriptions. Ooh. Okay, so one of these is Floxy because we are taking care of our mental health this year, finally, in November. I think this one should be a steroid cream for my hands. Yay! I heart the NHS. I really do. Okay, whilst we're on the topic of prescriptions and the NHS and stuff, I just wanted to quickly give you guys a good tip if you're a student. Now, some of you probably know about this, but I personally did not know about this. And when I found out, I was like so relieved. So if you're a student and you pay for your prescriptions, your eye tests, dental care, um, like stuff like that. Well, the NHS actually have a low income scheme where you can get help with the cost of those things. You can basically get a certificate, which means you're exempt from paying for those kind of things. Now, definitely go check it out. Um, basically, you download a HC1 form and you can check if you're eligible and stuff. But I think the eligibility criteria, there's other facts involved, but I think it's basically if you earn less than 16,000 a year. And chances are, if you're a student, then you fall into that category, unless you are very lucky and you do have a high income for whatever reason. 
I mean, you don't have to just be a student. If you earn more than that a year, then you can apply for this at any age. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know because I literally did not know that. Um, and I was like paying for my prescriptions and dental care and eye care. I mean, I didn't get an eye test because I didn't want to pay for it. And now I can because I don't have to pay for it. Because I mean, like those things can be costly, especially if you have to deal with poor eyesight, problematic teeth, bad mental health, a skin condition, all at one time, like I did. Um, so yeah, definitely make use of that if it applies to you. Like they don't advertise that to students enough. Um, I'm like, we need it. You're welcome, just looking after you. Okay, I don't know if anyone's interested, but just in case you are, the way that I choose what to have for my dinner, as well as pretty much every decision I make on a day to day basis is Pinterest. I, I am my whole life to Pinterest. I literally use it for everything. So I have a food board and then I have a dinner board within that which has 835 pins. And then I already have my previous recipes saved so I pretty much know how to make most of these off the top of my head. So if I have a guest, then usually I'll like decide what to have something of this that I've made before and I usually can just make it without the re recipe but sometimes I refer back if it's been a while or I'm not sure on something. But when I'm just making something for myself, I like to go on more ideas and look for something new to make, something that I haven't made before or like a different variant of something that I've made before. And I just go through, see what I have the ingredients for. I try and keep stocked up on most items. Obviously, it's not always Okay, I'm playing Among Us right now. I thought it would be funny to vlog it. Um, I'm currently hiding in a, in a vent because I just killed somebody. But ah, I've come out. Okay, right. Boom, 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 boom. I'm the imposter. So, oh my god, let's move away from the laundry pile. I really need to do some laundry. That's just reminded me. Oh, there's someone else there. Should we? Oh, Anna. Oh, two dead bodies in that room. Thanks for me. I'm just. It's me a morgue at this point. And I'm oh, oh, they just saw me. <gasps> they just saw me then. See right there. Oh, we'll pretend I don't know why. As if they didn't actually see me. Oh yellow. It's not me, but it is me. But Ah, oh, I did get a few vents. Okay, black suspected me, so I feel like we're gonna try and kill them next. So let's go to sort the reactor out for the pizza. I'm gonna add some cheese around the edge to do a little stuffed crust moment. Right, I'm in bed now, so the lighting's awful. So I had my dinner. I didn't show you it because it was a bit crispy. It was like still edible and it actually was nice when I ate it, but it just didn't look good. So I was like, okay, so put also I have my teddy bear in my voice. <laughs> I just thought it looked really cute. But yeah, so I had my pizza and then I washed up. And then, yeah, I sat down to do my work, my coursework. And I'm just so tired. So I've come to bed to do my work. So I've got my laptop and we're going to do my work in bed. Um, because I just could not bear to like sit at my desk and just, yeah. So I'm going to get on with this for the next two hours. And then... I'm a slip. Good morning vlog. I completely forgot that I was vlogging this week and I've just gone about my morning. Um, but anyway, I've just had my breakfast. I'll show you the remnants. As you can see, I have eaten it all. I had a fried egg, some spinach and toast. And oh, I had like um, salt, pepper and a bit of chili flakes. And it was so nice. I really recommend it. These are my flowers that I bought myself last week. 
I got them from Lidl actually. But yeah, they're all opening up and starting to wilt a little bit now. But um, yeah, they're so pretty. They were in my room, but I brought them down to the kitchen when I was away for the weekend because I was like, oh, there's no point them just sitting in my room whilst I'm not there. Yeah, I drank my orange juice. Oh, I love my morning orange juice. I really do. Orange juice just tastes so good in the morning and so does coffee. Mm. I love coffee. I'm sorry if any of you don't like slurp noises. <laughs> you would have hated that, but I personally love a good slurp on a coffee or tea. It's basically the only way I drink mine these days. I don't. Can I even drink it normally? See, I can, but it just feels weird. Okay, I'm just about to get ready to go um, to a house viewing now. I was going to put a wash on, but one of my housemates just came back to collect some stuff before Christmas. She's been gone over lockdown because she basically went home for a reading week and then lockdown got announced. She basically got stuck at her hometown. So she's just come back to grab some stuff for Christmas. So I was chatting to her. Um, wow, what have I just done to my hair? Whilst we're here, I just wanted to quickly shout out my Depop page because basically my business started on Depop. I wouldn't really have a business if it wasn't for Depop. I built up like, oh God, over a thousand followers. Um, I had like 300 sales, hundreds of five-star reviews. It was going so well and then it got hacked and like shut down. I basically just could not get back into the account. Um, and I just had a nightmare trying to get an account back because they thought I was trying to like dupe my old account, but it was like, no, I'm locked out of it. I don't know, it was a nightmare. So finally, this is why I have two phones now. This is my old phone. So I will factory reset it, basically set it up as like a brand new phone and I was able to get a new Depop account, um, but it's completely new. So I only have three followers and no sales yet, but it's Totally Buggin Shop. So at Totally Buggin Shop. And I haven't got all of my products on there, but I have a few. It takes a while to get them all listed, but I'd really appreciate if you guys could just go give it a follow, help me get my, you know, like following back there. Um, I know it's gonna take a really long time. It took me years to build up what I had and it's such a shame, but I am really glad to be back because Depop is such a good platform for selling on, even though they really did mess me up for a few months. So yeah, I just had to like shamelessly promote that. Um, yeah, now I'm going to get ready and I'll catch you up when I'm ready. Outfit of the day, I've got my light jeans on. I wanted my dark ones, but they're in the wash. Um, I've got my boots on. Yes, that one's dirty. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm in a rush. Um, I've got my Rafa and Polo on. Again, I wanted a different top on, but that's also in the wash because I really need to do a wash. I've got my totally bugging blazer on, which I just love. These are still on the site now. You can buy them. Use code YouTube for 10% off. Got my little Ryland bag, which I love. I've got a black headband in. I wanted a beret. I cannot find my beret, so I thought we'll go with the headband. And I'm going to wear this jacket to keep me a little bit warmer. Right, let's go meet Liv, and then we're going to go to the house viewing. I've literally lost my house keys, so like, I have no idea where they are. I need to have a proper good look, because full on, I can't find them anywhere. Luckily, I live in a big house, and we're like in lockdown, kind of, basically still right now so <laughs> thankfully there's always somebody in I've, lo I've lost it for weeks now but yeah oh i really need a wee oh i don't have time for a wee i'm just gonna have to go i'm afraid oh okay guys i'm on my way now running a little bit late but it'll be fine um i just remembered as well i forgot my face mask i need one for the viewing obviously and for little but I remember that Liv keeps the spare ones in her car, um, like the disposable ones. So I phoned her and checked and it's all good. Oh, it's so sunny. I should have brought my sunglasses. Also, yeah, my, <laughs> my nails poke out. <laughs> and it literally was like, <laughs> it looks so silly, I know. <laughs> I live with Liv in our accommodation building last year, like we were in different flats at the same building. She's gonna be my house sweet next year, I'm so excited! We have so had excited. so many fun nights out. Oh my god. I yeah. miss it so much. Hopefully we'll get that next year. Okay. Who knows? But yeah, this is like the third house 
Yeah. We've got another like two or three this week. I don't know. I've lost count. But hopefully, we're gonna find the right place. Uh, if we have some reason, we'll be okay. Yeah. We listen to Christmas songs. First December, so it's Christmas. <laughs> I'll date you when we get out of the house. We just got out of the house. We parked up at Lidl now. And it was good. Um, I think he's going to refurb it so it's going to be like even nicer when we moved in. But we have a few more to see this week. And I feel like it would be a bad idea to like rush into this without mm. seeing those. Because one of the ones that we want to see is a little bit pricier, but it's so nice. But it's so nice. And I'm just excited to see it and yeah it's one of those things it's like oh this one might go if we wait but oh, that's just the way it is though isn't yeah, it? it's life you know yeah so we'll just have to see what happens hopefully by the end of this week we'll have a house <laughs> hopefully unless everything goes wrong we'll see you in little are you coming in little what are you doing now yeah i'll come to little oh, come to little with me <laughs> gloves on my hands i know it looks really weird um you'll get used to it but my hands get really irritated after they've been out in the cold and for some reason these kind of gloves they just help to soften my hands and um stop the, my fingers like rubbing against each other and irritating further but i wanted to do you a little haul oh my god i got so much stuff for 15 pounds i can't believe i got all of this for 15 pounds if i got this um delivered from like sainsbury's or something with delivery and everything it would have came to like 30 odd pounds i mean i literally got the same amount of stuff for half the price so that's insane i'm a bit out of breath because it was so heavy carrying it around the shop thankfully liv gave me a lift home because i was just like oh my god i'm not going to be able to carry this up the hill so yes thank you liv if you're watching big love to you but yeah i wanted to give you a haul because i thought like as this vlog is like a week in my life as a student um, you might find it interesting to see what I get in a grocery shop and I feel like I got quite a well-rounded shop this time And it was so, so cheap. This is what you can get for £15 at Lidl um, I never thought it was really worth going to Lidl, but actually it is. It's so much cheaper But there's no order to this because I don't pack my bags strategically I just chuck them in there. My bagels and stuff are probably squashed But we're just gonna dive in and again ignore the gloves. It's just yeah I've got to help the fingers. I can probably take them off in a few minutes, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I brought, it's not really weird that I brought my groceries up to my room, but I had a lot of stuff and I just felt awkward doing it in my kitchen in case somebody walked in. And the laundry is not that good in there. So I was like, okay, we're just going to come take it up to my room. I'm going to do a good old little haul. So first off, we've got a cucumber. Apart from three items, everything went under a pound. I also got a zucchini. Well, a courgette in it uk um but yeah this is a recent love of mine i'm gonna put this down to asparagus tips oh asparagus is so good blueberries i love blue i love blueberries they go so good with pancakes and bagels green beans lovely love green beans oh double cream i use so much double cream one downside of Lidl is that they do not have many vegan options like they don't have vegan cream they don't have vegan soft cheese they don't have that many vegan milks although they are doing better now it's a shame because I, although I am vegetarian I don't ever claim to be vegan I try and go dairy free when possible and in Lidl that's not really possible so that is one downside to Lidl <gasps> and I got my soft cream cheese oh my god I love soft cheese it's like a newfound obsession i love dipping crackers in it i love it on bagels on toast in sandwiches in pasta just love soft cheese i really do chopped tomatoes always good for some pasta dishes and a mozzarella board oh my, now this i'm very excited about this is basically like vanish it's just stain remover i needed some more this was two pounds 29 it wasn't even 250 Mm, smells good. <laughs> I can't believe how cheap that was. Oh, then I got some potato wedges. I actually got 13p of oh, these. Oh, these smell so good. Oh, they smell so good. These need to go in the freezer. But yeah, because I used a coupon on the Little Plus app. If you are a student like me or just literally anybody who wants to save some money, um, Little Plus, they do coupons and it's like a rewards card that you scan at the end. Um, and yeah, just it's free. Just so easy to use download it check your coupons before you go 
boom so easy to use you can literally just add the coupons to your card and then when you scan your rewards card at the end which is on the phone um the coupons automatically apply and take the money off so so easy to use i really recommend and then i got a donut from the bakery section i love little bakery so much so much oh i've really squashed this poor donut oh my god oh no um but yeah i couldn't resist the lemon donut they're so good oh the lemon juice in the middle um what is it like lemon curd oh and like the little lemony bits on top mm, so good some bagels i really wanted sesame bagels but they didn't have any oh i got normal bagels it's fine i love bagels blake got me into bagels um so i have to give him the credit for that big love to you blakey the bagels are the best bagels with cream cheese oh <gasps> So good. And maybe like some blueberries on the top too. Oh, got some pesto. Again, usually I try and get vegan pesto, but that was not an option. But it's fine. I got vegetable oil. Vegetable oil, again, is one of those things that can actually be way more expensive than you expect. Oh, then I got a bread, which isn't too squashed. I thought you would be really squashed. It's the thick white toasty. This is basically the same as the Warburton's toasty bread, which is the best bread in the world. But I do get the cheaper one if I can because it is the same and yeah best bread got some tortillas i use these for like wraps you can do quesadillas you can do taquitos you can do burritos Just an iceberg lettuce with some salad and stuff oh and sandwiches finally i have a garlic i have been without garlic for ages because so i thought i had loads and turns out i didn't and yeah so i've been garlicless for a while now lemons i i get through lemons so quickly and i do not know why i don't know where they all go i don't know what i use lemons for but i always use lemons so here we go got some more and last but not least i got some bananas for my breakfast and a good snack and stuff so yeah all of that came to 15 pounds 89 which i just think is crazy Okay, so I'm going to go put my shopping away and then I'm going to uh, make some lunch. I've got some duck wraps that I can have for my lunch actually because they need eating. I'm halfway through my lunch, but I just had to come on here and say that this vegan Plancha Cuisine No Duck Wrap is amazing. I want to try this for so long. I'm so glad I found it reduced. Oh my word. Honestly, I got to check the package to make sure it was actually not actually duck so good i recommend get from tesco's oh look how shake i am um just from carrying my basket around a little i'm so weak i can carry on enjoying my wrap now guys i found my house keys i am so relieved right now i they were literally so i have this little basket in my wardrobe that i put my face masks and like scarves and hats and stuff in and they were in there for some reason. Not sure why, but oh, thank God I found those. I need a new pom-pom. This one's so sad. It's supposed to be a heart, but it's not really, is it? It's just a blob. A really pretty pink one. I've got my comfies on. Um, not gonna lie. Haven't done any work. Haven't done any work. So, yeah, I've just been watching Bake Off. Um, I'm going to go make dinner now. I'm going to make a chicken tikka masala. I've never made one of those before. I've only ever made, like, one curry from scratch, I think. I am going to be using a pre-made sauce because I've, I've got one, so there's no need to make my own sauce. Let's go make dinner. Dance. Reward myself for such a productive afternoon. Okay, so I've got my ingredients. I've got my vegan corn pieces. These are so good. If you're vegan, vegetarian, they're just, they can go so many meals. So I've got lemon juice, ginger, my tikka masala sauce. I think it has like a powder and a sauce, which is really great. Garlic, chili powder, curry powder, and white rice. So I've defrosted my corn pieces and I've minced ginger and garlic. I'm gonna add these to the bowl and then I'm going to add 
quarter of a tablespoon of this, a sprinkle of this, half a tablespoon of that, a third of a teaspoon of that, and a quarter of a teaspoon of that. And now I'm going to mix all this together. Okay, this genuinely smells amazing. I'm so proud. I'm gonna whack it in the oven for 10 minutes. That should be enough time. Okay, I've got my roasted chicken pieces out of the oven and they smell amazing. I can't wait to eat these. I'm gonna whack them in the pan with some oil and then I'm going to add the spice that's in the top of this jar and fry for two minutes. So I've added my chicken to the spices and I also added two shots of water just because corn chicken can go a little bit dry when it's roasted and that will just help with the moisture. It will nicely coat the chicken with the spices without it just drying out. It's looking lovely. Adam's in the vlog. I had sparkling water and cucumber. Mm -mm -mm. This looks amazing. I'm so excited to eat it. What have you been up to today, Adam? I had a three hour lecture, then I showered and had another three hour lecture. Wow. Then I cried. Oh. And then I watched Knots Landing and ate a pizza. I love that. What pizza did you have? Cheese with extra cheese because it's all I had oh, in the fridge. Lovely. Good choice. Can't yeah. go wrong. This is amazing. I really recommend. I'm so shaky for some reason. I've been shaky all day. Have you drunk enough today? Water? Um, I never drink enough. Oh. Water. Hi guys, I'm in bed with my terrible lighting once again. But um, yeah, I'm so tired. I've literally got into bed and now I've still got some eyeliner on. But, um, but yeah, I'm watching Bake Off currently. I'm thinking of doing some reading. I'll show you the two books that I'm reading right now. So my book for fun is, of course, it's Clueless. So this is basically an oral history of Clueless as told by Amy Heckling, the cast and the crew. Um, and it's just so good. It's basically just interviews with everybody who worked on Clueless about all the aspects of it. There's like pictures in the middle. Oh, that one's broken, but yeah. I just love it. It's the most amazing book for me. I mean, you guys know I love Clueless. My whole business and brand is literally inspired by Clueless and my life itself is inspired by Clueless, so. And then, oh my God, this one's heavy. This is my book for not fun. This is my book for my module. It's a big read, I won't lie. Uh, this book is worth like 30 pounds, I think. And I got it on Amazon in pretty much mint condition for four pounds something, including the race. But yeah, I try and read like a chapter of each every night. Although I haven't been doing it recently because I've been like falling asleep so early every night. No, no, guys, see you tomorrow.